Psalm 118, Praise of God's Law, Elif. Happy are those who, whose way is blameless, who walk in the law of the Lord. Happy are they who observe his decrees, who seek him with all their heart and do no wrong but walk in his ways. You have commanded that your precepts be diligently kept. Oh, that I might be firm in the ways of keeping your statutes. Then should I not be put to shame when I beheld all your commands. I will give you thanks with an upright heart. When I have learned your just ordinances, I will keep your statutes. Do not utterly forsake me. Beth, how shall a young man be faultless in his way by keeping your words? With all my heart, I seek you. Let me not stray from your commands. Within my heart, I treasure your promise that I may not sin against you. Blessed are you, O Lord. Teach me your statutes. With my lips I declare all the ordinances of your mouth. In my way, way of your decrees I rejoice as much as in all riches. I will meditate on your precepts and consider your ways. In your statutes I will delight. I will not forget your word. Gimel. Be good to your servant, that I might live and keep your words. Open my eyes, that I may consider the wonders of your law. I am a wayfarer of earth. Hide not your commands from me. My soul is consumed with longing for your ordinances at all times. You rebuke the accursed, proud, and who turn away from your commands. Take away from me reproach and contempt, for I observe your decrees. Though princes meet and talk against me, your servant meditates on your statutes. Yes, your decrees are my delight. They are my counselors. Daleth. I lie prostrate in the dust, Give me life according to your word. I declared my ways and you answered me. Teach me your statutes. Make me understand the way of your precepts and I will meditate on your wondrous deeds. My soul weeps for sorrow. Strengthen me according to your words. Remove me from the way of the falsehood and favor me with your law. The way of truth I have chosen. I have set your ordinances before me. I cling to your decrees. O Lord, let me not be put to shame. I will run the way of your commands when you give me a docile heart. Heh. Instruct me, O Lord, in the ways of your statutes, that I may exactly observe them. Give me discernment that I may observe your law and keep it with all my heart. Lead me in the path of your commands, for in it I delight. Incline my heart to your decrees and not to gain. Turn away my eyes from seeing what is vain. By, by your way give me life. Fulfill for your servant your promise to those who fear you. Turn away from the re turn aw turn away from me the reproach which I dread, for your ordinances are good. Behold, I long for your precepts, and your justice give me life. Vow. Let your kindness come to me, O Lord. 
your salvation according to your promise. So I shall have an answer for those who reproach me, for I trust in your words. Take not the word of truth from my mouth in, in your ordinances in my hope, and I will keep your law continually forever and ever, and I will walk at liberty because I seek your precepts. I will speak of your decrees before the kings without being ashamed. And I will delight in your commands, which I love. And I will lift up my hands to you, to your commands and meditate on your statutes. Zion. Remember your words to your servant, since you have given me hope. My comfort in my affliction is that your promise gives me life. Though the proud scoff bitterly at me, I turn not away from your law. I remember your ordinances of old, O Lord, and I am comforted. Indignation seizes me because of the wicked for who, for, for, who for, forsake your law. Your statutes are the theme of my song in the place of my exile. By night, I remember your name, O Lord, and I will keep your law. This is, this has been mine, that I have observed your precepts. Heth. I have said, O Lord, that my part is to keep your words. I entreat you with all my heart. Have pity on me according to your promise. I considered my ways, and I turned my feet to your decrees. I was prompt, and I did not hesitate in keeping your commands. Through the snares of the wicked are twined about me. Your law I have not forgotten. At midnight I rise to give thanks, to give thanks, because of your just ordinances. I am the companion of all who fear you and keep your precepts. Of your kindness, O Lord, the earth is full. Teach me your statutes. Death. You have done good to your servant, O Lord, according to your word. Teach me wisdom and knowledge, for in your commands I trust. Before I was afflicted, I went astray, but now I hold to your promise. You are good and bountiful. Teach me your statutes. Though the proud forge lies against me, with all my heart I will observe your precepts. Their heart has become gross and fat. As for me, your law is my delight. It is good for me that I have been afflicted that I may learn your statutes. The law of your mouth is to me more precious than thousands of gold and silver pieces. John. Your hands have made me and fashioned me. Give me discernment that I might learn your commands. Those who fear you shall see me and be glad because I hope in your word. I know, O Lord, that your ordinances are just, and in your faithful, faithfulness you have afflicted me. Let your kindness comfort me according to your promise to your servants. Let your compassion come to me that I might live, for your law is my delight. Let the proud be put to shame for oppressing me unjustly. I will meditate on your precepts let those who turn me who turn to me who fear you and acknowledge your decrees let my heart be perfect in your statutes that i be not put to shame cough my soul pines for your salvation i hope in your word my eyes strain after your promise when will you comfort me
Though I am shriveled like a leathered flask in the smoke, I have not forgotten your statutes. How many, how many are the days for, of your servant? When will you do judgment on my persecutors? The proud have dug pits for me. This is against your law. All your commands are steadfast. They persecute me wrongfully. Help me. They have all but put an end to me on, on the earth, but I have not forsaken your precepts. In your kindness, give me life, that I might keep, your, keep the decrees of your mouth. Lamed, Lamed. Your word, O Lord, endures forever. It is firm as the heavens. Through all generation, your truth endures. You have established the earth, and it stands firm. According to you, or according to your ordinances, they still stand firm. All things serve you. Had not the law been my delight, I should have perished in my affliction. Never will I forget your precepts. For through them you give me life. I am yours. Save me, for I have sought your precepts. Sinners wait to destroy me, but I pray heed to your decree. I see that all fulfillment has its limits. Broad indeed is your command. Mem. How I love your law, O Lord. It is my meditation all the day. Your command has made me wiser than my enemies, for it is ever with me. I have more understanding than all my teachers when your decrees are my meditation. I have more discernment than the elders because I observe your precepts. From every evil way, I withhold my feet that I might keep your words. From your ordinances I turn not away, for you have instructed me. How sweet to my palate are your promises, sweeter than honey to my mouth. Through your precepts I gain discernment, therefore I hate every false way. Nun A lamp to my feet is your word a light to my path. I resolve and swear to keep your just ordinances. I am very much afflicted. O oh Lord, give me life according to your word. Accept, O oh Lord, the free homage of my mouth and teach me your decrees. Though constantly I take my life in my hands, yet I forget not your law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, but from your precepts I have not strayed. Your decrees are my inheritance forever. The joy of my heart are there, or they are. <laughs> I intend in my heart to fulfill your statutes always to the letter. Zamek. I hate men of divided heart, but I love your law. You are my refuge and my shield. In your word, I hope. Depart from me, you wrongdoers, and I will observe the commands of my God. Sustain me as you have promised, that I may live. Disappoint, disappoint me not in my hope. Help me, that I may be safe and ever delight in your statutes. You despise all who stray from your statutes, for their deceitfulness is in vain. You account all the wicked from the earth as dross. Therefore, I love your decrees. My flesh shudders with dread of you, and I fear your ordinances. Un. I have fulfilled just ordinances. 
leave me not to my oppressors. Be surety for the welfare of your servant, and let not the proud oppress me. My eyes strain after your salvation and your just promise. Deal with your servant according to your kindness, and teach me your statutes. I am your servant. Give me discernment that I may know your decrees. It is time for, for the Lord to act. They have broken your law. For I love your command more than gold, however fine. For in all your precepts I go forward, every false way I hate. I say, Wonderful are your decrees, therefore I observe them. The revelation of your word sheds light, giving understanding to the simple. I gasp with an open mouth in my yearning for your commands. Turn to me in pity as you turn to those who love your name. Steady my footsteps according to your promise and let no iniquity roll over me. Redeem me from the oppressor of men, that I might keep your precepts. Let your countenance shine upon your servant, and teach me your statutes. My eyes shed st streams of tears, because your law has not been kept. Sadi, you are just, O Lord, and your ordinance is right. You have pronounced your decrees in justice and in perfect faithfulness. My zeal consumes me because my foes forget your words. Your promise is very sure and your servant loves it. I am mean and contemptible, but your precepts I have not forgotten. Your justice is everlasting justice and your law is permanent. Though through distress and anguish, have come upon me. Your commands are my de delight. Your decrees are forever just. Give me discernment that I might live. Quote, I call out with all my heart. Answer me, O Lord. I will observe your statutes. I call upon you. Save me, and I will keep your decrees. Before dawn I come and cry out, I hope in, the, in your words. My eyes greet the night, night watches in meditation on your promise. Hear my voice according to your kindness, O Lord, according to your ordinance, give me life. I am attacked by malicious persecutors who are far from your law. You, O Lord, are near, and all your commands are permanent. Of old I know from, from your decrees that you have established them forever. Rest. Behold my affliction and rescue me, for I have not forgotten your law. Plead my case and redeem me, for the sake of your promise give me life. Far from sinners is salvation because they seek not your statutes. Your compassion is great, O Lord. According to your ordinances, give me life. Through my persecutors and my foes, there are many. I turn not away from your decrees. I behold the apostates with loathing because they keep kept not to your promise. See how I love your precepts, O Lord. In your kindness, give me life. Permanence is your word's chief trait. Each of your words, each of your just ordinances is everlasting. Sign. Princes, princes persecute me without cause, but my heart stands in awe of your word. I rejoice at your promise as one who has found rich spoil. Falsehood I hate and abhor your law.
I love. Seven times a day I praise you for your just ordinances. Those who love your law have great peace, and for them there is no stumbling block. I wait for you, for your salvation, O Lord, and your commands I fulfill. I keep your decrees and love them deeply. I keep your precepts and your decrees for all my ways are before you. So, let my cry come before you, O Lord. In keeping with your word, give me dis discernment. Let my supplication reach you. Rescue me according to your promise. My lips pour forth your praise because you teach me your statutes. May my tongue sing of pro your promise, for all your commands are just. Let your hand be ready to help me, for I have chosen your precepts. I long for your salvation, O Lord, and your law is my delight. Let my soul live to praise you, and may your ordinances help me. I have gone astray like a lost sheep. Seek your servant, because your commands I do not forget. Praise be to God forever, for the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever.